Hi guys, it's Andy Gorman here. I want to introduce another, well I think a really good product. It's from a young PGA professional here in the UK named Jamie Britton. Uh, Jamie's produced what he calls the swing plate that comes in handy little carry bag. Got one here, one down on the ground of course. So basically, um, what he does is it allows us to attach a, a couple of and that tool sticks, you know, most of us have got them floating around in the bag. And it gives us a reference point for the shaft plane itself, so the angle of the shaft during the setup and then during the swing. And there's a couple of ways, well, I bet there's dozens of ways that you can use it. But some of the obvious ways for me, certainly when I'm playing you know, wedge shots and the like, is where is the golf club in relation to the swing and the target? And so we've got this stick down on the ground and oftentimes I'll see players struggling with the golf club going around behind them, you know, and this may well be a really good drill for them to actually then start to swing uh, up and down a little bit more. Now the beauty about the swing plate, which is very different from other uses of the tour sticks, is that I can put it in the ground in effect while I'm in the studio. So we've got a swing room behind the camera and ultimately I can have this set up for practicing short shots of, you know, hey, a bit of winter practice with the soft limited flight golf balls that are not going to damage anything in here. Ultimately, the swing plate allows me to do my indoor range, indoor stuff and my outdoor range work during the summer and the winter. So if we don't have the benefit of getting on the grass or well, the ground is a little bit hard and we can't get the sticks in the ground, you know, the swing plate has multiple uses. A couple of ways that I would use it just as a little bit of a, you know, a couple of go ways to go to start. Right, first and foremost, when we're working shots, I see an awful lot of wedge shots that exit the back swing way too flat, way around the body in this manner here. And of course, then that's going to affect the forward swing where the golf club will traverse across the target line by a significant number, 20, 30 degrees is not uncommon. Now, if you're wondering why the dots are on my club face here, if you can see them, it's four dots, it's because we use the GC quad in order to be able to give you the number of feedback that you need to know about the golf club and what you're doing with the club and why the shots are causing you too many problems. And if the club's coming back a little bit on the inside, then basically the golf club itself will bottom out behind the golf ball. So you'll either blade the ball across the green, you'll hit the ground, fat and chunk the golf ball or you'll end up firing the heel of the golf club at the ball and we'll end up shanking it. Yes, he can say it because he doesn't fear it, okay, because we know how to fix it. But we need the golf club to move a little bit more down the target line with the face actually open to the target. So we're not worrying about whether we're not, we're not going to blade it, we're not going to shank it, we're not going to hit fat because ultimately we're able to swing the golf club in the right manner. Another way to use it is to actually come the other side of it and if players are working the club in this manner through the ball, get them to swing through and go under the stick. A bit more of a challenge because that's right there, it's imposing. It's like, oh no, what do I, don't want to be doing that. Well, guess what I see an awful lot of. So you can see here, this is something that I see a heck of a lot. We go in to out, we get the club bottoming behind the ball, right? So imagine a stick's where the golf ball is. I see a lot of rounding out beforehand. I also see a lot of chase extension, you know, sort of oof, trying to get down to the golf ball. And that sends the golf ball outside that stick line here. And if I keep the club close to my body, so I've got the club head on line with the stick on the ground, keep the club close to my body and just turn my belt buckle towards the camera, look at where that club's finished. And this is what we call exit left. Now if I start, you'll notice that my hands, albeit the club may be a little further back here, my hands start pretty much in line with my left hip. And as I turn, set up here and then turn through, they're still in line with my left hip. So when we're aware of these positions, what we don't want to be doing is swinging the arms and the club away from the body. So keeping my hands nice and close to the left hip allows me to work underneath the plane of the swing. 
The reason for that is because the left hip, when I come through here, is the furthest away from the camera now. It's actually further left. When I look down the line, it's actually further to the left. It's going to be over here, not in the setup position. It's going to be further around. So I don't want it to come over the top. I want it to come around underneath. And that gets us the correct action. You get on top of the golf ball and then underneath the shaft plane on the way through the shot. So on the back swim, the shaft plane is a little higher on the way down and through it's a little bit lower so it's a really powerful training aid from there and if you think about it if we are going back this way and swinging out that way and then go out and then around underneath it hey guess what i could throw two down on the ground and i could have one over the top and one underneath and that would give me a really good drill so you know swing plate fantastic piece of kit from jamie britain in the UK, have a look, check it out, get one in your bag and get practicing. I'll catch up with you soon.